Again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery, ready to do some more experiments. I'm hoping that all the tools I need are close by. These are the cards I've been uh, swiping some geometric artwork with, and I don't know, I'm thinking about keeping them handy. I kind of want to put in a sky and do a garden. And I have things floating in the air this time of year. This is uh, early March. So I'm going to keep blowing them off my canvas. But I'm going to put a little, a little of this and a little of that in my sky. Where is my blue? I had some really nice pale blue a second ago. There it is. That's purple. Never mind. It'll all be okay. I'm going to use my OXO omelet turning spatula to create my pretend sky. I'm going to see that there's something in my paint, as I often do. And I don't mind if some of that paint color blends. I'm very tempted to go ahead and put a little something extra special down there. This is an idea that I don't really have, I have not experimented with yet, which is a nice wide area with a couple different techniques and uh, maybe we'll get the garden I want and maybe we won't but in any case I'm going to keep flowing paint down low enough so that I'm not worried about having the coverage I want. The OXO omelet turning spatula available on the Amazon link below my video smooths the paint so well into position that you can often see the weird little anomalous things, including that bug, um, that come from adding Floetrol often and not uh, not screening it. But I think Floetrol sort of forms its own little lumps as you go anyway. So that's um, that's not a spectacular sky, but that's some wet paint, and that was pretty much my plan, which was to give myself some wet paint. I didn't take waste too much, and I wiped off my spatula this time. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Okay, so my idea is to give myself something at the in the middle for mountains. But it looks like I'm going to have to unseal every single container that I've got. And I'm not necessarily using any colors that makes any more sense to me than they would to you. Because sometimes just throwing those extra colors in there is what makes it interesting. I've shaken all my colors. All my colors have Decor Pouring Medium Flow Trial half and half, and uh, and color mixed with 10% GAC 800 to keep it from cracking, which seems to work pretty well for me all the time. I don't use water in my mixes, and I never use glue anymore. I'm always pleasantly surprised by uh, what comes out of these weird combinations I use. That was the same color twice. Okay. The turquoise might be coming up right up next. Now I could scoop this out. I think I might want a little black and I might want a little pearl. The pearl is ri risky. I also want some darker purple and I didn't shake it up. And it's still plugged. Fortunately that I have some practice with that now and it doesn't take as long as it used to. Okay, so I said I was going to put some turquoise in there. I did, and then I want more. Do I want anything else in there? I love this blue that I used to think of as a color shift from folk art, but until I replace it, I'm not going to know. So I'm going to go ahead, even though there isn't a lot of paint in there, and I'm going to shovel it out. I'm going to let some of that go right to the edge, close to, close to flowing right over it. I'm going to let all of this go right down here. I may have to slowly edge my shovel so that it will release its contents. I may also have to come back and use some more. My thought is that I'm going to tip it down. I want 
some of that paint. <laughs> I don't want to waste it all, so I'm going to put it on my edge catcher. And let it flow back into the painting. Creating sort of pretend topographical... I don't know, that's probably the wrong word. But uh, in any case, creating areas of interest. And I'm going to take the paint that I have left here, now that I can see what I might want to add to make it a little different. And that's going to be more of this... Oh, that's more turquoise than green. I had thought I had some very dark green, but it turns out to be metallic. So I'm just going to throw a little bit more of that uh, Prussian blue in there. that shovel drain so it can go down over the edge. We'll see how this works. I have a bunch of ideas. Here comes a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatula right in the middle of that. And I don't have too much paint on the back of my shovel so I have some beautiful other paint in here. Maybe I'm just going to use that. Let's see what happens. play with it. I think I wanted some more lighter, a lighter green color over there. And I'm going to use one of my little cards. Push things around a little bit, see what happens. I love this uh, this method of combining different things. I do, I do. I need a solid strip, but I don't have enough faith in myself that I can make myself do that. But I need a solid strip in between this area and the bottom, the bottom garden area. You can see I've got stuff coming up here. I don't mind a few pretend trees. Looks like my, my edge, my sky sort of went over my edge and that was okay. I kind of like to put something else in here. I don't like all this stuff that's floating on the breeze these days, I have to say. Um, the fact that I don't have any color on my canvas to move to flow paint might be a problem, but I want to experiment and see what happens when I just use the pouring medium, I kind of expect there's a really good chance that I'm going to have some canvas showing through, but if I don't, that would be okay too. Now where is that? Yes. I'm just going to keep playing as if I were not in your company, because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link is in paperback now, as well as as an ebook that you can get an app, a free app, a free Kindle app for. Okay, I see that. You can go away now. I might want to do something to my sky. I might want to um, do a whole lot. Whatever you are, go away. Do experiment with a whole lot of strange stuff down here. Not including that bug. I think the kitchen sink, just everything ought to go right in there, right across the middle. That was the sound of my shorts with a spatula on them. I'm going to lead that right up to the edge and let it go over. That, uh, that neon green is very sheer, so I'm never sure what's going to happen with that because I really have no experience with it particularly kind of want to mix it with everything else. And the spatula is still helping me find chunks and lumps, which I actually like finding, chunks and lumps, so I don't find them later. Alright, so there may be more paint here than I 
actually want. Chunks and lumps. Gotta go. Well, I can't make mud, but I can certainly make green slurry. My intention is to put a garden down below it, but um, I'm wondering if this may have to be a two-stage drawing, and I could even come back and do the sky tomorrow again, another sky tomorrow again. I think that extra green, I think that extra green is going to go right into my iPod case. And I'm going to put that spatula into the bucket, and then I'm going to just get busy putting colors at the bottom here. Strange color combinations work for me, what can I say? I'm sort of hoping that that maintains continues on. I hope it continues on <laughs> and uh, and I wish some of my bottles were open that are not but it's not that hard to open them. Let's put a little more gold or some white or some yellow or some lighter colored orange. Let's give myself picking and choosing room. I have not used any of my purple down here in this particular batch. So, my intention was to use chains and things. I'm going to throw some tools in the bucket for a second. Try and wipe off my, my most beloved flat front spatula. I'm going to have a quick look at this and grab some paint. I may be sad that I threw away that green paint because some of it's not all over the sides. Anyway, so I am just going to go crazy. Short trip. <laughs> I'm going to put some more green in there. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, my spatula after I wipe it off. Put the rest of my colors in there. I may have to tip them down and throw them back again. I hadn't thought of that, but I'm thinking about it now. I may have to add some other colors in there. We'll see how I feel about that. What other colors should be in there is the other question. white? Do I want gold? Let's find whatever we think we need and an edge catcher. Here goes nothing. I'm sure I have an edge catcher here. A fairly clean one. And it just fortunately happens to be the same length as the whole canvas because it's from a 16 inch by 20 inch value pack of Michael's canvases anyway. So I'm going to throw that right back and let it fill in. And I can also not just push on the edge on the bottom. I've got some great paint there. I've still got some great paint on my scoop. Which I think is going to come right off in my areas. I'll use my finger to fill in a couple of spaces, and I might wish. 
that I had filled in with white. But otherwise, this is fun. And if I save myself any paint, I might make some flowers, but I'm not seeing that I did, so that may not be even possible. I have not done this style of pretend garden before. And that was a good start to play and find out what's going to be happening. And I can certainly pull a few things through. And use the paint colors that are there. Kind of don't mind that I have an uneven flow down there. That was my intention. I don't know how neon pink will look with this. I don't know what's going to hang out. I don't know how anything is going to go right now, but um, I think what I want is to throw some, oh, look at the beautiful cells in there, is to throw some yellow in here and wipe off my skewer and see how that goes. make a few more plants. When that timer goes off again, I'm going to have to tell you things that I'm going to try and tell you now before the timer goes off. Yeah, that made sense. Please buy my book on the Amazon link if you are so inclined. Uh, it's below the video and below show more. I have Teespring clothing. Every, th every bit of shopping you do helps me keep the studio going. If you can possibly watch more minutes of the video without fast forwarding through. You help a lot of my ability to earn a living. Even if you're not watching commercials, you're still helping me out. Um, it gives me good placement. Same with thumbs up, if you give me a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing my most current artworks posted, I post them to uh, Instagram, which you can find down at the bottom of the description underneath the video. Along with, Inst along with Pinterest. Pinterest and Instagram. And uh, this is fun. This is a lot of fun, actually. I'm surprised that I'm doing as well as I'm doing, to tell you the truth. Especially since I know I don't have an unlimited amount of time and I kind of wanted to do something fun with the sky but I'm not minding anything right now so that gives me just one minute left and um, what did I forget I, I forgot if you contribute to the studio you will be included in a contest where you will have an opportunity if your name is drawn to choose one of three or four paintings depending on which month I'm contributing them, them. I don't know how to tell you that. Um, I do give lessons at the house. I do sell my artwork. If you're interested in, in purchasing any artwork, please just contact me and I'll give you an email address through, uh, through YouTube communications. And uh, I'm, I'm having a really good time. I'm liking this a lot. I think I've got most of my spaces filled now. 
This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio going, thank you for all the great comments you guys leave me, and thank you for the contributions that have helped me keep painting in the past. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to 50,000 viewers. 